In a previous video, we talked about what a git, git commit was and the idea that each commit has this unique identifier, this hash that represents it. And the other big piece of information we talked about is when you look at that commit, one of the pieces of data it stores is the parent commit. So the hash of the commit that came directly before it. And so what that does is that allows Git, when it stores a branch, all it really needs to know is what commit is at the tip of that branch, right? Which, was, which is our top brick that we've added to our stack of bricks. And so just by having that piece of information, Git can go back and sort of iterate through all of those uh, going back from each parent to rebuild that branch. And that's what it does. So here, if we take a look, we've got our main branch here. Okay, so these are the commits that we have on it. So I'm going to take a look. Git has uh, Git creates a hidden directory dot Git, and inside is where it keeps all of its Git information for your project. So here under refs heads and then the branch name, we can see what's in this file that has that branch name, and it turns out it's just one line, and the whole thing in that file is this hash. And remember, if we take a look at the first seven digits, it's often abbreviated that way, that first seven digits there is the same as our commit B, which is the commit at the top of our main branch. We can do the same thing with our feature C branch, right? So if we get out of this and we take a look at feature C branch, we can see here that our commit is the same as our commit here on the branch. So when, when we talk about branches, really, in terms of what Git is doing under the hood, is Git it just keeps track of what commit is at the tip of that branch. And then the rest is based on the parents for those commits that it can go back. Uh, one thing to point out here is remember with these commits, we only have the parent value. So we can go back but not forward. Right? If we look at commit B, we can't tell that commit C comes after it. We can only tell that commit A came before it. And in fact, that's true because commit B doesn't have anything after it in main. And on branch feature C, it has commit C. And maybe on another branch, it has a different commit after B. So we can only tell sort of what happened before, not what happens after. So Git stores a branch just by keeping track of whatever the latest commit is on that branch.